27k and 30 or 1080p and 60. Oh, and okay. Here, I'll send you. Here, this is a video I did like yesterday. I just went to the park and I want to just get good at yeah. shooting. Like, um, hey, just Penguin. Like Nate. Oh, are we live? We're live. Where's Tony? Uh, Tony's a uh, bi weekly Monday show now. So uh, he'll oh. be here every other Monday. Oh, I thought he was here every Monday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, look, what's up, Misha? You. Oh, and our first prompt is for Tony. So, you okay. are Tony, a guy who has a special surprise for your friends Jason and Jim. You spent hours preparing a big dinner for them. You cook 100 chicken nuggets, 5 pizzas, 20 sandwiches, and for dessert, you bake 10 cakes. Hell yeah. I would, I would be very questionable. I mean, uh, Tony's a close friend. But I would be highly suspicious of his intentions if he did this, because he's never, <laughs> never done this before. So yeah, I don't think he can cook. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jason and Jim enter your house while you're in the bedroom. They see all the food in the kitchen. Jason says, "I'm not hungry. Let's throw this food away." I would never say that, even if I was full. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim replies, "Good idea." All right. I bet Tony would sous vide everything. Oh, the chicken nuggets. <laughs> the pizza? Yeah. Don't underestimate Tony's cooking. You know, I've never had it, so I don't know what his capabilities are. Yeah, I can't estimate it at all because I don't think it exists. <laughs> or that, too. It's like Bigfoot. I've not, I don't know if it exists, and I don't. Uh, I've never seen it. I don't know. I'm indifferent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, tr I tried it. I'm not good at You hear a loud noise in the kitchen. They've thrown away the food. You think of a plan to get revenge. What would Ooh, you do? Now that's something Tony would do. If we threw yeah. away all that food, I, I am not. I, I could cook like spaghetti, rice, chicken. Yeah. I don't know. I'd be I cook ramen noodles. More. Yeah, ramen noodles. I wish my oh. brother and my cousin and my uncle all cooks. Me just didn't inherit that that gene or that desire. I'm just like, <laughs> I want shit now, quickly. Quickly, and I don't care how, how good it tastes. Yeah, yeah I don't want to do it. I want to pay for it and then enjoy it. Can you do microwave meals? I can. I haven't done a microwave meal in a while though, so. It's not cooking. Too much sodium. Yeah, it's not cooking. Uh, how would Tony get revenge? Yeah, we could um, all this, if we threw all this food away. I feel like he would do it again. <laughs> uh, I don't know. He would make it so uh, tempting. He would try to poison us, maybe. I'm gonna say. Uh, do I have to read this? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say you, uh, you guilt Jason and Jim. Uh oh. You gotta eat my meatloaf. Uh, you guilt Jason and Jim, uh, until they feel so bad they eat the food out of the garbage. <laughs> okay, that he could do that. He uh -huh. dethroned Jim Christ with a rival religion. Ah, interesting. Okay. Never. <laughs> you walk into the kitchen. You find Jim and Jason looking through the garbage. You say, are you looking for something? They look at you angrily and say, yes, we are looking for our dinner. <laughs> okay, disgusting. <laughs> He's like, I already took it out. It's in the big dumpster in the back. Uh, you better get out there quickly before my neighbor... Uh, throws her trash in there and she's got uh triplets and they've all been yeah. shitting a lot lately so and triplet cats <laughs> triplet Ugh. cats so the kitty litter as well <laughs> uh let's see what what would he have done with it he's like it's already yeah yeah I, i'm gonna say that yeah uh 
you you point them to the dumpster outside and uh put the guilt trip uh i don't know you you point to the dumpster outside and say bon appetit yeah total guilt trip I guess we don't want Tony to be too upset at us. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know why he cooked it in the first place. You point them to the dumpster outside and say, your dinner is outside. They run outside, find the trash and eat it. <laughs> like little raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Uh... Oh, Misha. Uh, that reminds me of there was like a on uh, an episode of Extreme Cheapskates. They have like this freaking guy, and uh, uh, I'm getting sick just thinking about it. Oh, hey, pizza! Oh, cool. Uh, I still haven't played the pizza. Crusader Kings too yet, but uh, I know you recommended it, so I'll have to give it a try. Uh, um, is that like an RTS? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, uh, the extreme cheapskates. This guy, like, got everything from the dumpster. He got like wine bottles and like parts of a lobster, and then he like pureed it with tuna and served Ugh. it to people unknowingly. He served it to people in a cooking class. Like, oh, <laughs> uh, it just churned my stomach. Oh, um. I'm going to say Jason and Jim give you lots of false compliments until you forgive them. Is that illegal? It should be. Yeah, I didn't see him get escorted off the show, but I would have been like, this guy needs to go to jail right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, the computer doesn't understand forgiveness. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, you laugh when you think of how you tricked them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we tricked him. Was this guy you, Jason? No, I would ne that. I would feel so bad. And this so guy found no us? remorse with it whatsoever. He's like, you didn't even know. It's like uh, when I get sick and I'm in the hospital, I'll know. So Tony tricked us all along. Yeah. So he did. He was just like. I was just upset at you. I was just gonna let it go. I can't believe you ate the trash. I've tricked you. I made that much food just so you would throw it away. And mm -hmm. then I would guilt trip you. I do. I do. Oh. That's the Tony mastermind. Tony is a criminal mastermind in the story, yeah. Uh, -huh. uh okay, what's the end goal though? What why uh was it just for a laugh? Uh yeah, yeah, I'm going to say, Jim says, Why did you do this, Tony? Why, Tony? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Everything according to my master plan. Oh. <clears throat> you shrug and say, I'm a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> That's what th I think Tony would say. Yeah. Uh... Uh, tell your therapist. Oh, I thought it was time for a food fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> you <laughs> go into the dumpster and start a food out. fight with Jim and Jason. You go into the dumpster and start a food fight with Jim and Jason. The end. You reached the psychopath ending. The psychopath ending. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to like check into like a... Uh, you start going to therapy, I'm gonna say. You start going <laughs> to therapy. Oh my god, can we do a whole series on just Tony and therapy? Yeah, you tell your therapist all about 
your uh, prank on your good friends where you made them eat trash. Replay the game for the secret dog ending, yeah. Like Silent Hill. You walk into the therapist's office. She points at a chair across from her desk and you sit down. Okay. She stares at you, waiting for you to say something. You open your mouth, but nothing... Nothing comes out? Okay. Get incarcerated into asylum. Yeah, we might if this... <laughs> if we just go... She's like, oh god. Looney bin! She has a button. The therapist always has that secret button in the desk. That's like, oh, take him, take him to the nut house. Right, yeah, there's a, there's a danger button. Yep, she could speak into her pen. She goes, uh, yeah, <laughs> or she just picks up the phone and calls the police. Mom right. spaghetti. I'm gonna say, I think I'm a psychopath. Yeah, yeah. Like after a long pause. Yeah, he he's... he really like thinks about it. Huh. I think I'm a psychopath. The therapist <laughs> looks at you for a minute and says, I think you need more help than I can give you here. She presses a button on her desk oh, and no. the ring of a buzzer sounds outside. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, oh. Oh, wait. Huh? Something else happened. The door to the office opens and two big guys come in. This patient is ready for his medication. She says, the two men grab you by the arms. Oh, I think you might have hit, entered twice. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Well, my internet kind of cut in and out real quick. Okay. But that's what I thought was going to happen anyway, is two big guys were going to rush in the room. Uh, Straight jacket time. Uh, you are he admitted taken... It. And, uh, s straight to the asylum. Uh, you are put in a straight jacket and thrown in a padded room. That's like the nightmare scenario, I feel like. Yeah. You are at the state asylum. Uh-oh. You are put into a straight jacket and thrown in a padded room. The end. There is only one ending for psychopaths. <laughs> to be sent to an asylum. <laughs> wow, Oprah, that's a bit like... There's there's only one? There's no uh, rehabilitation? She's like, yep, for true psychopaths, the only place for you is the loony bin. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna say you figure out a way to escape. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a true psychopath, I plan and plot my escape. I make friends with the guards and the, my therapist. <laughs> I yeah. tell them I'm not a psychopath. That'll, yeah, that's yes, the yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I'll make the molly trash! You are a true mastermind. Eh. You manage to fool the orderlies and get out of the asylum. Wow! Unfortunately, you got out just in time for when the hospital shut down. <laughs> you walk up to the old abandoned building. Okay. The old abandoned building. Uh, you make the abandoned building your new headquarters. Mm. Your new prank headquarters <laughs> and home <laughs> and home. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You make the abandoned building your new you prank headquarters and, and your new prank oh. headquarters the and end. home. You are the now end. a full-fledged psychopathic, well psychopathic criminal. You are now a full-fledged psychopathic criminal. All right, Oprah's well talking done. over herself.
Yeah, are you hearing that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I accidentally clicked it twice. Uh, <laughs> huh. Okay, well done. Now the, I feel like the AI is on her side. You're a true psychopath, Virtual Tony. Well done. Yeah. I'm going to say you call Jason and Jim to come over for lunch. Yeah. Aren't you in the loony bin? Name yourself the prankster. Virtual Tony the prankster. You walk over to the abandoned hospital and knock on the door. Jim opens it and looks shocked. Holy cow, he says, you escaped your padded room. Oh, oh, yeah, they're about to be like, uh, did they come with backup or did, were they, were we stupid enough to just go and visit Tony even though we knew? Start a YouTube prank channel. Uh... The doors slam behind Jason and Jim, and a big spotlight shines on Tony. Uh. Uh, or shines on you. You say, Welcome to my ultimate prank show, gentlemen. A metal sheet falls behind you, closing off the entrance to the building. You say, I've built myself a little trap to keep people in. You flick a switch and some TVs. Some TV screens power on. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna say, uh. Tony starts singing show tunes. It's possible. Anything's life. He might just be going blah, 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 blah. Wah, oh, wah, oh, wah, oh. I'm gonna say, uh, Jim says, I'm really glad to see you're feeling better, old pal. <laughs> uh, and he's also gonna say, uh, uh, that asylum wasn't right for you. Or you didn't belong in that asylum. Asylum. Yeah. Try to curry favor. Yeah. Be like, hey. Uh. Yeah, I didn't think you ever should have been there. What do you mean? <laughs> you say. <laughs> You're obviously a psychopath, not a schizophrenic. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is this what Tony is like off stream? 100% yeah. correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's why we never go over Tony's for dinner anymore. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Not after the incident. <laughs> Uh, I'll say uh, you uh, offer Jason and Jim something to eat. Uh, garbage trucks appear and dump uh, old produce. Oh, garbage food trucks. And uh, expired baked goods and a giant pile in the middle of the uh, room. I know it's a abandoned hospital, but I'm imagining it's a warehouse part of the hospital. You offer Jason and Jim something to eat. Oh, well. Garbage trucks appear and dump old produce and expired baked goods in a giant pile in the middle of the room. This place gives me the willies. Jim says. <laughs> that? That's all it took? Now it's giving you the willies, Jim? 
Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Does the incident involve eating garbage and being trapped in an abandoned hospital? Mm. Yes. <laughs> you must stop him. He'll unleash villainy of confusing proportions. Yeah, I'm already. <laughs> I don't know what his end goal is other than making us eat trash. Mm -hmm. uh, you got an idea to wrap it up? Or we could leave it there. We just... Yeah. It's like the end of a like a... Uh, Outer Limits episode. There's no end. <laughs> it's just kind of like you're trapped in this nightmare situation. And uh, the episode ends because uh, writers couldn't think of an ending. Or they wanted yeah, to leave it ambiguous. You just look at the camera going, this place gives me the willies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim, you got props? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's switch uh, into story two. Story numero do so. Okay. I have a meta prompt. Okay. Uh, it goes a little something like this. It goes a little something you, like... You are... Jim. Okay. You are at the yearly Twitch award ceremony. You and your friends Jason and Tony are being nominated for best new Twitch stream for your show called AIPD. Oh, okay. Dr. Disrespect... And Ninja are presenting the award okay. uh, to you when they start to give you friendly insults in front of the crowd. They insult your show by saying dot, dot, dot. All right. Yeah, Ninja's back, but Doc left for YouTube. Oh, really? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll next it. Okay. It just gave you doctor. What the? Disrespect dash. This AIPD show is the best new show on Twitch. I've got to hand it to you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. The doc's on our side. Yes. I feel like uh, maybe we bribed him because I don't. That doesn't feel genuine. I'm like. Name your favorite episode, Doc. What What is our show even about? Or, that's the setup for a really good burn. Oh yeah, he's like, yeah, it's the best new show on Twitch for babies! <laughs> <laughs> for my dog shit. Dr. Disrespect is ironic, res uh, respectful. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, let, let's say, uh, uh, you asked Doc what his favorite episode is. You ask him what his favorite <laughs> episode is. He mumbles and says episode 5 when you all became zombies and had to eat Brandon, the guy who was streaming before you. I remember that day fondly. That's a oh. plausible adventure we've kind of gone on, you know? I'm, yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. I'm not going to fact check him on stage while accepting the award, but... uh, It sounds familiar enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Doc. Yeah, you, you get a pass. Okay, I'm going to say... Um, Is there actually a Twitch award ceremony? I don't think so. I think, uh, isn't there awards though, or was it Blockbuster, some kind of Blockbuster award that Dr. Disrespect got? Mm, I think for like gaming, like individual like tournaments or something, maybe. I isn't don't know. a game? This is it a game? Yeah, yeah this game is a game. We could... Where's the competitive AI dungeon scene? Poor Brandon, I'm yeah. Gonna... I'm going to say you accept the award happily. Yeah. On behalf of. The three of you, you begin, you give a speech to the huge crowd. Uh, you start your speech by saying, da, da, da. Okay. Yeah. Is there something I'm telling you? 
Yeah, we ate a guy. That's the, the price of fame. You gotta eat the, you have uh -huh. to eat the competition. Brandon was the fourth uh, streamer we had on the show for a while. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all for this award. We'll continue to bring you great commentary and entertainment as we always have. I wow. look forward to continuing to entertain you all with AIPD. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that sounds plausible what our expected where? speech would be. Yeah, where did we get that from? A book? <laughs> yeah, we're just like uh, reading straight from <laughs> Twitch acceptance speech. <laughs> Best, so top, top 100. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna say um, you wouldn't eat Tony's food, but you <laughs> you ate Brandon. <laughs> what can I say? I want to say your pants fall down. Okay. That's a <laughs> but good you switch. sound disappointed. Terms of service. We're gonna get banned, Jim. We're gonna get banned. Okay, okay. Well, I won't no. do it. I won't no, do no, it. no. You can do it. And, okay. And then yeah. Whoever the Pants CEO of Twitch comes up and uh, says, You're banned! I'm going to say your pants fall down accidentally. It's like a wardrobe malfunction. Accidentally. Yeah, yeah. And the audience laughs. Exactly. It's it, We know what the audience wants to see. Mm -hmm. You continue your speech and your pants fall down and the crowd laughs. <laughs> You feel embarrassed and laugh with the crowd before awkwardly continuing your speech. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll say that. The CEO of Twitch rushes the stage and grabs the microphone away from you. He proceed. He says, "I'm sorry. That's against TOS." Oh. You. Uh. You are banned. Effective immediately. The crowd boos. Oh, they would be so upset. The CEO of Twitch rushes the oh, stage and grabs the microphone right. away from you. You, he Jason, says, I'm, I'm sorry that is against to gather your things. You are banned, effective immediately. The crowd's booze. <laughs> Alright, here we go, sorry. Tune in to see these three streamers on a different website. You, mm -hmm. oh. Jason. Okay. And Tony, begin to gather your things. Okay. Well, time. Where do we go? Time we move to Pornhub. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> Can we just we just have a stream on that site with no no nudity? Is there? Yeah. Has anyone done that before? It's just had a regular like talk show on Pornhub. It has <laughs> would that to be have against, happened. Would that be against their terms of service? <laughs> yeah. They're like, you gotta take something off. This is nobody's <laughs> fetish. Everyone has a fetish for anything except this. <laughs> Whatever yeah, you're you... doing right now is the one thing that Pornhub yeah. does not want. Uh, but let's try it. <laughs> let's try it. You uh, convince <laughs> Jason and Tony to uh, stream AIPD to Pornhub. They agree. And your first show is tonight. I have a feeling this won't end well. You never know. <laughs> you convinced Jason and Tony to stream your show to Cornhub. The three of you sit down to start the stream. Okay. Also, Twitch is on by Amazon, so yeah. Daddy Bezos is the the boss's boss's boss. Hmm. Emmett Shear? That name sounds a little bit familiar. I pr I probably would know him if I saw him. Hmm. Uh, you uh, 
you do the stream as normal. Uh, the commenters are understandably confused. <laughs> they, they, they're the nastiest comments on that site. The commenters, comment commentators, com uh, comments. The users the are what? just the are, chat. The, the, ch chat? the chat. There you go. The chat <laughs> is understandably confused. They demand to see your feet or take your pants off. <laughs> this will be my next thing. Week. It's possible. I'll just I'll just show my feet. Yeah. Well, watch out. You have no choice but to follow the orders of the chat. We'll try again. You take off your pants and put on the crab walk pose. <laughs> the crowd goes crazy. That would be insane. Yeah, just take it off your pants and start cra crab walking on around. So you then show only your feet to the webcam. Yeah. And you get your own uh wiki feet entry. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Uh they were showing it on the H three podcast like they're like, are we on that? And they were. The chat is confused and angry. Oh no. Someone spams the chat with the message show your dick. <laughs> we'll try one more time. You sit down and show your whole crotch to the webcam. Wow, we're, we do anything for views, apparently. How does one put on the crab walk pose? Eh, it's kind of like... If you, like, were to bear crawl on your hands and feet, uh, that but backwards, so your arms are, like, back and your feet. So it's like oh. you're making a table where your chest is standing up, and then you just walk with your hands and feet. It's a yeah, it's like a bridge, kind of, but you're walking. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I just showed my whole crotch. <laughs> uh, uh, your stream does very well. The donations start rolling in. Oh, yes. Monetization. Yeah. Story. Whoa. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't everyone walk like a crab or is it just me? We did it, guys. We are rich. Yay! Let's celebrate by streaming Overwatch. <laughs> you and your friends begin playing and streaming. You have the biggest following on Twitch. Ah, we know, but we're banned from Twitch. We can't go back. We gotta keep streaming Overwatch on Pornhub. On Pornhub. As long as I show my crush the whole time, I guess it's okay. Yeah. The video ends up on cursedvideos.net. Oh, I gotta see what that is. Sounds familiar. I've heard of cursed images, but I've never heard of cursed videos. Ooh, interesting. Oh, there's a subreddit for it, of course. Oh, I'm gonna watch that after. Oh, whoa! Spooky! <laughs> Alright, well, um, I mean, I, this seems to be working for us. I mean, we don't have as big okay. as a following. Get a TV show from Pornhub? That would be the ultimate, like... Wow, what a career path. <laughs> no one would have saw that coming. Uh, I'm gonna say you get a call from Jeff Bezos oh. begging you to leave Pornhub and return to Twitch. Keep the crab walking stuff. I like that. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> hey, Bash, what's oh, up? Yeah. You walked in on a porn story. <laughs> well, Bezos begs you to leave and come back to Twitch. It's the biggest offer you've ever gotten. <laughs> Leave them for dead. We can start our own site. Ape. Ape. Ape TV. Is that available? 
That's awesome. AIPD TV. Yeah. I'm checking right now. AIPD.tv. It oh, is. Doc it's thirty dollars a year. Not worth it. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. No, if it was eleven. Yeah, if it was maybe. eleven, I would have jumped on it. Hmm. My only regret oh, is missing man. the beginning. Yeah, we took some twists and turns. We just told off Jeff Bezos. It's just because our pants fell down at an award show. A few porn stars have become TV presenters. Interesting. I guess I could see that. I guess you get your your good years. It's almost like being a porn star is like being like a a professional athlete. There's like a a window of opportunity. I mean, you could switch and do like. I mean, I guess there's porn at every age range, but some people don't I make think, the transition very well. But I think once you get enough, uh, like, followers on social media, you just become, like, a commodity for uh, for advertising. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. If people know you've got 5 million people watching what you do, you'll get, you'll get paid something uh, just to show up. You start your own uh, site, AIPD.TV, where it is 90% ads, 10% uh, Jim's feet, 10% 10, 10 your feet, 5% uh, your feet, 5% the show. Oh, yeah. This might be too complicated for the AI. Mm -hmm. You guys want comedy or feet? <laughs> yeah. Uh, vote. We're putting it to a vote. Oh, no! It tanks. You lose money and are forced to return to Pornhub. You become a bartender. <laughs> oh. Does the stream have a foot cam? Yeah, just a little uh, picture in picture. So you can always see. Uh, maybe oh, Ellen DeGeneres good. started in porn? I don't think so. A Bart Ender? Uh, I'm going to say Jeff Bezos comes to your bar and orders a drink. <laughs> He's, he really wants a virtual gym. Your pants fall down while serving drinks. And people are like, yeah! This is the coolest bar ever! The pants, not pants. Man, my internet's like cutting in and out. Yeah. Uh, so Jeff Bezos comes to your bar and orders a drink. He asks, don't you regret not taking my offer? <sighs> yeah, a little bit, Jeff. A little bit. But at the same time, no, I think we, we took a chance and lost it all. But, you know, that's oh, life. Oh, yeah, bartender at a strip club. That'd be great. Man. Well, I don't know. You think to yourself, I'm drinking for free, wow. sitting in an air-conditioned bar. What do I have to complain about? You know what? That's so positive. That's so positive, and I feel like that's a, that's a great wholesome end. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you, Jeff Bezos. We don't need yeah, your shit. All right. mm -hmm. You know, we might not be rich and famous, but uh, what do we got to complain about, okay? We are liking our life. You know, show business wasn't for us. So I'd, li I'd like to think, uh, oh, here, I've got a good ending. Yeah. This will Careful. close it nicely. Okay. <laughs> so you're an alcoholic in a bar with AC? Not necessarily an alcoholic. Oh, God, now we die. Yep. That's just got I I'm worried right now. <laughs> I'm going to say your pants fall down and you laugh of the irony. Okay. Okay, period. Actually, let's next it. Let's see what happens. The end. No! On your grave it says, here lies Zidane, the man who showed his dick on the internet. They got your name! wrong on your tombstone <laughs> now no one will know 
I, I would He's... like to think. Uh, do we try to as a death? That's, that's kind of a death, right? Yeah, I gotta track it, I feel like. Damn. Maybe. Maybe over like the next thirty years, I change my name, or, you know. Yeah, maybe. But people still remember me from showing my dick on the internet. <laughs> All right. That's a weird spelling of Jim. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Switch into story three. Okay. Side Dane. Side Dane. Z uh, was a French soccer player who's now a manager? Okay, interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, this is technically a Jason prompt. Uh, I'll still do it. I'll play it as if it was me. Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh, you are Jason Voorhees, a serial killer driven by immoral actions of your victims and your own rage over having drowned as a child. Tommy Jarvis goes to your graveyard to get rid of your body once and for all, but inadvertently brings you back to life instead. You once again seek revenge and chase after Tommy. A classic story from my, my uh, past. But the AI doesn't know what to do. They're just a normal day, yeah. The next day, you killed Karen at her house after chasing her through it. Karen? Returning to the Voorhees house, you killed the caretaker, Creighton Duke, Creighton by stabbing Duke. him in the neck. Hey, that's the guy in, uh... Uh, he's like the voodoo cowboy guy and uh, Jason goes to hell, I think. Really? Is this like from a movie or something? Uh, yeah, this Wait. is from uh, uh, is Friday the Jason... 13th Part 4, but then the Creighton Duke character is from Part 9. Oh, I didn't know his last name was Voorhees. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know. Ah. Oh, I forgot to change the name. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, so that's right. two kills. Two kills. Okay, so, so we're that jumping what around the franchise, huh? That's what happened in the story, is that he got brought back to life? After yeah, being oh, oh man, part four. Oh. Uh, it has some good ones, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, not to spoil the series for you, but I mean, it's... You, yeah. You can spoil it, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, part three, he's killed by Corey Feldman as a child. And then okay. part four... Corey Feldman's all grown up, but he's having like nightmares and stuff, and he wants to make sure Jason's dead. So uh, he goes to his grave and like stabs him with this like uh, fence pole, and then it's also storming, so lightning strikes it and brings Jason back to life. If he just would have left him alone, Jason would have been dead forever. But he went after like twenty years. He went to a graveyard to kill a stab a dead body. Yeah, it's very confusing. He should have hired wow. Freddy Krueger, yeah. Uh, you know what? I like that a lot. The Freddy vs. Jason, they were like... Uh, playing it for so long, and it like could have been so awful, but you know what? It's like enjoyable. I mean, the main people are... I mean, it's Jason and Freddy that are the, the stars. Everyone else is, uh, is very, like, very bad. <laughs> but, I mean, mm. that's kind of a staple of the franchise. I really wanted to see. They had a comic book that was uh, Alien versus Predator. Oh, and dang! I think that would, I think that would be a cool movie if someone did it right. You know, they'd probably screw it up. I'm gonna say you feel bad for stabbing Creighton Duke. Oh, really? So you go apologize to his family. Oh, they did do an alien While you are there, there, the police arrive and yeah. try to arrest you. Two of them. You kill two of them before uh. escaping. You steal a car and drive away, but soon crash it into a tree. 
All right, two more kills. Alien versus Predator, 5.6 out of 10. It was really oh. bad. And the second one, I, I didn't even watch because I heard it was so bad. Wow. You should practice your driving. Right. Yeah, it's hard when you got the face mask on and you got your machete and you got your full <laughs> bodysuit that's covered in blood and your thick ass boots. So you just like pedal to the metal and it's just like, Jesus, I can't see. I can't even see in this thing. Yeah. And just, you're like, uh, he, his, it's all fogging up. <laughs> it's all fogging up because he's breathing so heavy and he's just always <laughs> wet. It's always like he just emerged from the lake, even though that happened years ago. <laughs> just not driving a tire at all on every level. Uh, let's, yeah, you decide to go to the mall and buy some, uh, better clothes to drive in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! You crashed the new car not long after, but steal oh. another one. Mm -hmm. You feel pretty good about your new outfit. Also, Jason, good at the... <laughs> yeah. They're like good at jumping cars. Yeah. Hmm. Imagine Jason Voorhees in the suit. That, yeah, that would be... If they did that in one of the movies, I would be like, I'm intrigued. I'm a little bit angry, but intrigued more so. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, but we're super confident now because we have really good outfits. Yeah, uh, it, it's going to fl flip our whole life around. No more killing say... teens. No more, uh, you know, having a shrine to our dead mother. We're done. Wear tights. Yeah. I'm oh. going to say you go to a yeah. you go to a nightclub full of confidence <laughs> with your new outfit. Okay. While there, oh. you flirt with a girl named Adrian. She is attracted to you as well, so the two oh, of you right. leave together. Oh, interesting. Oh. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. You, uh, run... Part 10. Jason finds love. Yeah. You run into Bo Duke from Hazard County. Who's that? Uh, from Dukes of Hazard. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, the name generator has been redeemed. He asked if you <laughs> know where uh his car went. Yeah, that'd be great. She starts like kissing us and she's like, just take off your mask a little bit. We're like, no. You shrug <laughs> and walk off with Adrienne. Daisy While Dukes. there, you flirt with a girl oh, named shit. Adrian. She is attracted to you as well. Oops, so the two of you leave together. Bodu gets angry and punches you in the face, oh, okay. knocking you to the floor. He is about to kick you too, but Adrian stops him. That's very brave, Bo Duke. Yeah. Yeah. You're lucky I'm having a good day, Bo Duke. Mm -hmm. Why well, new clothes in my penchant for crashing cars? Yeah, is Bo Duke jealous? I think Bo Duke is like, I asked that hoping you would apologize for it instead of lie to me. I know you stole my car, Jason. Isn't Jason like huge? <laughs> yeah. Like seven feet or something? Yeah, he's like six, six ten or something. I don't know. Why is he six ten though? He died as a boy and then he aged in the grave? Yeah, who knows? Uh, eating beetles and worms in the forest makes you strong <laughs> or something. Huh. 
Bo Duke, Jason, Adrienne, Love Triangle. Yeah, right. It seems like that. He took HGH. Yeah. Uh, he's just, yeah. Uh, he's like Stallone. Crystal Lake is, yeah, just next to like a pharmaceutical plant. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> it all goes into the water that he's like just sipping out of. He's like, <laughs> damn, I'm, I'm growing two feet a minute. And they just. Uh -huh. You need DMX to take Jason. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Why does he have super strength? Uh, I forget. Was DMX what Jason movie was he in? Oh, was, or was he? he in? Uh, was he in uh, Halloween? I don't remember. He's in one of those things. Ah. Oh. Adrian uh, uh, takes your machete and chops off Bo Duke's arm. Ooh. Oh, he H2O. That. That's right. That's right. He screams in pain and Adrian points your gun at him. She is about to shoot, but her own fear causes her to not be able to do it. Ah, okay. So she could slice off an arm, no problem, but killing him, she's like, God, I just can't. I'm gonna, okay, I've got something. <laughs> There's a movie uh, titled I... Water. Yeah, it, it was weird why they called it H2O. Like, that was supposed to be scary. I mean,. Uh, Michael Myers isn't even, like, water-based. Like, there's no... He's not even, like, killing near a lake or anything. One of the Halloween films, yeah. Someone thought they were being, uh, funny. Or... Clever? What is this story about? Uh, we're Jason Voorhees and we're trying to change our ways. And, uh, it's not... It's kind of going... All right, I guess. Halloween 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think there were that many Halloween movies, though. I'm going to say uh, you put your arms around her uh, sensually and to help her aim the gun at Bo Duke. Okay. You know, like, you know, like when someone's like, oh, let me show you how to golf. And then you put your arms around oh, her. Oh, yeah, yeah, then... yeah. Just, oh, we're doing just, that with a gun. You don't know what you're doing, and that doesn't really help you. Find Jesus. And then, That's possible. Too. And then you you tell her to be brave and help her pull the trigger. <laughs> Here, kill him like this. Oh my <laughs> love, my darling. The gun fires and Bo Duke falls to the ground. Yep. Adrian faints and you are left to look for another girl. <laughs> you go to a nightclub full of confidence, dressed in your new outfit. We make her kill Bo Duke, and then we we're like, eh, she passed out. Not for us. Time to find a new lady. <laughs> now that's confidence. Yeah, I don't care what you like, say. I'll get another one. <laughs> I'll get another one. Like I'll get one that's conscious. This time. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be killing a lot of people. I cannot date somebody who faints on their first yeah, kill. Right, right. Yeah, they gotta be into it too. You gotta share hobbies. <laughs> yeah. Maybe try a job at the camp. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's try this nightclub first. You walk into... Uh, oh, we get a counselor job? Yeah. Nightclub. And uh, <laughs> see a, a job posting mm -hmm. for camp counselor. You leave the nightclub and head for the campsite. The campgrounds. Ah! You arrive at Camp Crystal Lake and are hired as a camp counselor. You are assigned to cabin three and your name is added to the sign that hangs over the door. They're like, uh, hey, mister, how old are you? This is normally for, like, uh, 
teenagers, you know, to like take care of uh Why does Jason mostly kill teenagers? Uh because teenagers were the ones that were responsible for his uh him dying in the lake because they were all making out flirt with the female campers. Mm. That I don't know. Are we that confident to flirt with children? No. I don't think so. <laughs> maybe, maybe fellow camp counselors. Nobody bats an eye, I guess. Um, I'm gonna say you you kick down the door and assert your dominance. No hashing. That's right, Pesh. Uh, to the campers. Oh God, we're gonna kill a bunch of kids right now, aren't we? We'll see. Oh! You enter the cabin and see a group of snobby, stuck-up teenagers. <laughs> you crack your uh, knuckles like and walk towards them. Hey, who the fuck are you? One of the campers asks. Whoa! Oh. Now. This is like one... These are like the the best murder scenes is when you... When they deserve it. Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> now, do we hit strike a child? I mean, we killed the guys. We've killed five guys, so. I'm, I'm going to say I'm your nightmare. Okay. Oh, this kid's going to die, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen any of the Sleepaway Camp films? Just the first one, yeah. You smile and tell them that you're their nightmare and get to work. The campers are more difficult to kill than the townspeople, but you manage oh. it in the end. Wow! So I think that's like, uh, it's like 10 to a cabin, <laughs> so... Whoopsie. Yeah. That's nice, I like how he smiled. Because he enjoys it. Hey, yo. So, like... 10 kills, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's probably like double stack bunk beds and like maybe five on a side. Yeah. Four They've got five. plot armor. Well, not in this story they didn't. This story's about Jason. <laughs> Jason's got the plot armor in this story. Mm -hmm. All right. Um let's see, I'm gonna say later that night. You go skinny dipping in the lake. Okay, yeah. Let's do all the things that our victims normally do. Celebrate. Yeah. You go skinny dipping in Let's the lake. Let's see what this is all about. <laughs> Crash into another tree. Yeah. We have to walk there, so. Your victory. The oh. next morning you awake in the lake with a harpoon in your chest. You groan and stand oh. up, but oh. fall back into the water when another barb goes into your leg. Oh. <laughs> fall backwards. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's first fall backwards in a while. Still got it. Griffin still likes it. Let's murder some people with General Lee's car. Yeah, hey. Uh... Here we go. Someone's putting up a fight now. Yeah. It's Can probably Jason that chick. Die? Uh, it's probably that it's probably our ex-girlfriend that we left when she fainted. Like, how dare you leave me like that? Did Jason take his max off? He didn't even get his mask until the third movie. Oh really? Yeah. Or maybe the end of the second? I don't remember. Came back with heart Yeah, Adrienne, yeah. She's like how dare you just leave me fainted next to a dead body of someone you forced me to kill? <laughs> I think that is who it is. You see Adrian. Uh, who? It's like nobody breaks is up with armed me. to the teeth. She says, "How dare you leave me next?" To a dead body. Uh, I 
Now you will get yours. In the first film, it wasn't even Jason, yeah. She approaches slowly and it looks like you will finally have your long-awaited revenge on the woman who killed your mother. Whoa! Adrian's! What a, really? twi what a twist! It wasn't hinted at at all! And it just came out of nowhere! <laughs> she, she's not even old enough for that to happen, but... oh, Yeah. It was a plot twist that was someone else. Yeah, yeah. And then they tried to keep that going, that it was like a murder mystery. And that led to the stupidest one of all, which was uh, part five. Yeah. <laughs> which they were like so set on making you so you couldn't uh, figure it out that it was just like, it seems like they didn't even know. Or I don't know. There's just like one scene of this guy. It's very stupid. Hmm. She's a time travel murderer. Yeah, yeah. She traveled back in time at the, as the same age. Or she killed her as a young girl. Oh, yeah. What yeah. a... Your mother was killed by a child. Are the later sequels direct-to-video? No, there's never been a direct-to-video. It's always been a... Uh, in theaters, yeah. Theatrical releases. <laughs> Maybe they wrote the screenplay in AI Dungeon. Hey, anything's possible, but I think AI Dungeon would put together a more uh, comprehensible script than, than some of the Friday the 13th movies. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you uh, get out of the water and uh, are face to face with. Adrian on the dock which is also on fire uh you pull out your machete and Adrian pulls out uh two harpoon guns let's see what happens let's revenge this bitch yeah the two of you fight with every weapon you can grab from the burning dock the fight ends when you both grab the hunting knife at the same time oh, oh i know I got it. Were there any prequel films? No, not that I could think of. The first one's kind of like goes into a little bit of the backstory, and some of the later movies try to give a little bit more, like a mini mini prequel ish. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what a meet cute. Yeah, that's yeah. We kiss her, and we both like put our chins to the knife, and it's just like, well. We're both dead. While grabbing the knife together. Yeah, best, yeah. <laughs> Harpoon guns at dawn, yeah. What an yeah, inconvenient yeah, weapon, because you only got two shots. You missed with those. Mm -hmm. You fucked. You both grab the knife at the same time, and then you look at each other in the eyes and kiss. Okay. It's like, uh... Lady in the Tramp You story. and Adrian embrace, and the two of you remove your clothes. The sun sets on the burning lake and with it your innocent, youthful self. Oh, wow, okay. Were we redeemed like a ghost well, and turned yeah. back into a boy? <laughs> we revert to a child, we're like, thank you! <laughs> and the lake's on fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, uh, I'll say this, you ascend into the sky. Yeah. Adrian smiles uh but and I, then realizes and I think, she's stuck on the burning dock and i think like free bird would probably play it then i'll just leave it at that yeah you ascend to the sky adrian smiles i don't want to kill her but the day i kills her then whatever 
You assign and that's it. Oh. You are now a Camp Crystal Lake counselor and forever <laughs> live on in legend. That's a yeah. good end. I like I know that. what you're saying. Legend. You've reached the <laughs> legend ending. Yeah. <laughs> With a harpoon though, you can literally see the ammunition though, so uh -huh. if, if there's no harpoon in the gun, he's definitely yeah. shot once. <laughs> it's empty. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm no, looking at it. There, yeah. can, it cannot possibly be loaded. <laughs> uh, that's a good end for it, though. I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, tell your step camp counselors, your step uh, Voorhees, your hey, step. Twitch awards. Yeah, your step doctor disrespects and ninjas. Mm -hmm. And your step Tony's. Do we do a Tony one? <laughs> yeah. What was the Tony one? I don't. Know. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> it's a harpoon pistol. Yeah. Tell your step Duke boys to subscribe. Uh, we are out tomorrow, but we'll be back Wednesday night, and then we're also out uh, Thursday. Uh, well, at least your story is more instinct than mine. Hey, so <laughs> it doesn't always work out that way. <laughs> this one just happened to know a lot about Friday the 13th. Uh, so see you Wednesday, guys. Uh, if you'd like, follow us. I don't know what number we're up to now, but we're trying to get there. So uh, we'll see you Wednesday at 8. Good night, everybody.